the Six Eyes, a legendary attribute in Jujutsu Kaisen that gives the user unparalleled cursed energy efficiency and perception. In Gojo's possession, they allowed him to control the absurd limitless technique, which catapulted him to the status of the strongest sorcerer in the modern era. But what if someone else had them? Someone with a different technique like Megumi or Yuda or Toto? Would they become as strong as Gojo? Well, that's what we're exploring today. And at the end, I'll tell you which sorcerer I think can use them best. Let's get started with Megumi because he is one of the people that has the most to gain from the Six Eyes. The Ten Shadows technique is already the single most powerful technique in Jujutsu Kaisen thanks to its versatility, with Shikigami being used for everything from offense to defense to support. Oh, and it also is a slightly overpowered Shikigami named Maharaga. But the technique does have one fairly big flaw, which is that every Shikigami takes a decent amount of cursed energy to summon with Max Elephant and Maharaga being the most expensive. This means the user has to think about which Shikigami to use one rather than being able to just spam them, thinking about how to utilize a cursed technique rather than just being overpowered, truly the worst fate. But with the six eyes, that completely goes away. The efficiency gained from the eyes would allow a Ten Shadows user to summon Shikigami much more liberally, giving them even more flexibility and letting them throw caution to the wind in terms of cursed energy usage. For instance, Megumi once said that he can't really use Max Elephant in combination with other Shikigami, but with the six eyes, that issue is completely gone for him. Increasing efficiency should also allow Megumi to improve the interpretation of his Shikigami, as the Six Eyes would allow him to put more cursed energy behind each one. The increased perception could also help Megumi understand his technique more deeply, which would help him extend his versatility with it. Increased perception would also definitely help Megumi on stealth missions, which Ten Shadows users already have an advantage in. Honestly, if a good Ten Shadows users got the Six Eyes, they would probably become the strongest sorcerer in the modern era, or whatever era they were in. It's already such a strong technique on its own, so fixing the one and only issue that it has would make the technique way too overpowered. Anyway, let's move on to a special grade that could make great use of the Six Eyes. Yuki. While every special grade could make great use of the Six Eyes, I feel like Yuki can make especially good use of them, as the strength of her technique directly correlates to the amount of cursed energy she can give to a task. For instance, when Garuda restrained Kenjaku, the strength of the restraint weakened when Yuki needed to use some cursed energy for reverse curse technique. If she had the Six Eyes and its near-perfect cursed energy efficiency, she should be able to use less cursed energy to achieve both tasks. The Six Eyes would also allow her to put more cursed energy behind every punch she throws, as they would make her cursed energy pool regenerate much faster. This increased offensive capabilities would make her even more dangerous than she already is. Imagine if Yuki could put this much cursed energy into every single one of her punches. That would make her even more broken. It's also possible that the Six Eyes would raise the tensile strength limit that exists for her cursed technique, as more efficient cursed energy usage should allow her to more precisely apply her cursed energy to her technique, therefore surpassing the limits she previously had. Giving Yuki the Six Eyes would definitely make her too much for Kenjaku to handle. Not only would she be hitting extremely hard, but her domain would also likely be much stronger and more refined, due to the Six Eyes' increased perception of cursed energy allowing her to find smaller aspects of her domain to refine. Yuki is definitely one of those sorcerers that would make great use of the Six Eyes, but not all sorcerers have abilities that benefit from the Six Eyes. One who I don't think would be greatly strengthened is Ghetto. Don't get me wrong, any sorcerer with the Six Eyes will instantly become much more powerful, but there are some techniques that have more to gain from the advantages afforded by the Six Eyes than others, and Cursed Spirit Manipulation is on the lower end of the spectrum. This is because a lot of the power that comes from Cursed Spirit Manipulation relies on the strength of the Cursed Spirits being used, but that doesn't mean the Six Eyes would be completely useless for Ghetto. One aspect of Cursed Spirit Manipulation that is briefly touched on is using Cursed Energy to reinforce weaker Cursed Spirits to make them more powerful. The Six Eyes would make this reinforcement much stronger and allow the user of the technique to reinforce themselves too, so Ghetto would still be stronger with the Six Eyes than without them. They could also potentially help Ghetto acquire stronger Cursed Spirits more easily as well, which would obviously make him stronger. However, it's hard to say exactly how the Six Eyes would affect Maximum Uzumaki, as we don't know exactly how the Maximum technique works. Let me know how you think the Six Eyes would interact with Maximum Uzumaki in the comments down below. For now though, it's time to move on to our main man, Yuji Itadori. Yuji is kind of hard to talk about because we still don't know for sure what his technique is. It's heavily implied to be either some sort of soul manipulation or blood manipulation or both, but we'll be talking about another blood manipulation user later in the video, so let's talk about Yuji as if he just has his soul shaking punches. To be honest, even without a traditional curse technique, the six eyes will still be useful. The main advantage Yuji gains is being able to increase his reinforcement, as he would be able to apply more cursed energy to himself without having to worry about running out. This would give him a good amount of strength on both his offense and 
defense, making his already strong punches hit even harder and making his hit taking abilities better than it currently is. It's hard to say exactly how much stronger this would make Yuji, but considering Gojo was able to absolutely humiliate both Hanami and Jogo while just using his cursed energy, I think it's pretty fair to say that Yuji would probably be around the same level as well. Maybe a bit lower because I think Gojo is an outlier even within the history of Gojos, but he would still be able to solo a special grade cursed spirit with just his fists. It's also kind of implied that cursed energy reinforcement can make a sorcerer faster as well, so the six eyes might be able to increase his already absurd movement speed. More interesting than Yuji though, is Toto. See, Toto is one of the few characters that would benefit more from the perception boost from the six eyes than the cursed energy efficiency boost. This is because insanely high perception would pair incredibly well with his obscene intelligence. Like, this dude is already able to think at a million miles per second, so having to perceive more wouldn't slow down his thought processing in a notable manner, and it would allow him to gather so much more information which he can use to his advantage by applying his IQ and disseminating the additional information incredibly fast. But that's not all, as he would also benefit from the cursed energy efficiency quite a bit. Considering efficiency is using less cursed energy to do more, the six eyes could give Toto the ability to swap items with a lower threshold of cursed energy, giving him more items to play around with. I don't think the six eyes would lower the threshold to zero or anything insane like that, but it would still be incredibly useful. The perception would also help Boogie Woogie, as being able to tell what's coming next further into the future would give Boogie Woogie even more flexibility. The cursed energy efficiency would of course allow Toto to hit even harder as well, since he would be able to imbue his punches with more cursed energy more often than usual. All of this would make Toto an even bigger threat as a support sorcerer, but honestly, it's hard to say that all of this would make him a super strong sorcerer, because he just doesn't have a curse technique geared towards offense. Maybe if the six eyes help him learn curse technique reversal that would push him into being a special grade, but it's hard to say exactly what a curse technique reversal for Boogie Woogie would look like. So we're just gonna ignore it and move on to another Kyoto student, and it's one that would undoubtedly be a special grade if they had the six eyes. Mechamaru. Mechamaru is already an incredibly powerful sorcerer, mainly thanks to his heavenly restriction, which gives him a huge pool of cursed energy and the ability to control his cursed energy across the entire country of Japan. This already lets him fight kind of recklessly since he doesn't have to show up and worry about bodily damage, and his ultimate Mechamaru was a pretty competent robot. We don't know exactly how the perception aspect of the six eyes would work for Mechamaru because his body is usually pretty far away from everything, so if perception is based on what the body perceives, which is what's implied, this aspect would probably be completely useless for him, unless he was in his absolute mode, which is where things get really interesting. This is one of the more blatant examples of where the six eyes efficiency would be broken, as all of absolute mode's attacks usually take years of cursed energy storage to execute, but with the six eyes, that would be brought down significantly, meaning Mechamaru might be able to pilot the mech without having to worry about years at all, which is insane. Even Kinjaku said that he had the output of a special grade wall in absolute mode, so taking away or severely limiting the only drawback to this beast is a huge deal, and I have no doubt that it would put Mechamaru in the category of special grade. Another sorcerer that could become special grade with the six eyes is Chozo, but before we get into him, please consider subscribing. Think about it, it's mutually beneficial. You like the content, I like subscribers, we both get more if you subscribe. Anyway, I promise the reason that Chozo would be a special grade is not the reason that you may think. For the average blood manipulation user, the six eyes would be super useful for increasing the ability to use reverse curse technique, therefore healing the body and replenishing blood as it is used. But Chozo is built different, literally. All death's paintings have a property where they can turn their cursed energy directly into blood, meaning that Chozo cannot run out of blood until he runs out of cursed energy. And with the six eyes, it's almost impossible to run out of cursed energy energy, as it was stated by Yuda that Gojo can never truly run out of cursed energy because the six eyes will replenish it so quickly. This means with the six eyes, Chozo would have theoretically infinite blood for him to manipulate. He could drown entire cities with blood, build entire towns out of blood, and do pretty much whatever he wants with it. Like, the upper limit is just so high here. And it gets even crazier when you remember that Chozo is able to use the abilities of his brothers as well. And with the six eyes, they'd probably be more than just cheap imitations. Anyway, let's move on to six Kuna because I feel like we can't make a video like this without talking about him. But to be honest, I don't know if the Six Eyes really changed Sukuna all that much. See, it was established during the Gojo and Sukuna fight that Sukuna's cursed energy efficiency is already close to what the Six Eyes gives Gojo. If we ignore just how insane that is, that means the boost to cursed energy efficiency from the Six Eyes shouldn't be too much. 
right? From what we can tell, the six size doesn't give a bonus to cursed energy efficiency. It just raises efficiency to an extremely high rate. So considering Sukuna's efficiency is already close to that, the six size wouldn't give him too much of a benefit. It will still be an improvement, but it's a pretty small upgrade, all things considered. I guess the boost to perception is also a nice add-on for him, but he's already incredibly perceptive as it is, so it's hard to say that would be much of an upgrade either. And it's not like he needs it, you know? This dude is so broken as is that giving him another upgrade is just completely unnecessary. Which, knowing Gege, means that it might actually happen. At this point, we have just two characters left to talk about, and the next one is one of the most interesting characters to give the six eyes to, Mai. This is because Mai is considered to be among the weakest characters in the show, but she doesn't have to be. See, there are two things holding her back. The first, it's her pitiful cursed energy, and the second, it's her cursed technique being construction, as the technique requires a lot of cursed energy to use and is highly inefficient in its usage. This means Mai might be the person that can gain the most from the six eyes, as they will fix both the issues with her cursed energy output and her issues with efficiency as well. We already saw what a good sorcerer with construction could do in Yozuru, as she was capable of holding her own against 15 Finger Sukuna for a little bit, which really puts Mai to shame considering she couldn't even beat base Maki. So with the efficiency of the six eyes, Mai might actually be a useful sorcerer. She might not even need the efficiency of an insect to become as powerful as Yozuru was. And if she does discover that secret, then she could probably surpass the high end era sorcerer. And that brings us to the final person I want to talk about, which is, of course, Yuda. Yuda with the six eyes would be absolutely broken. He would make even Gojo look like a small child in terms of strength. He already has a larger pool of cursed energy than Gojo himself, so giving Yuda the efficiency of the six eyes would absolutely push him into the top tier of sorcerers alongside Gojo and Sukuna. Pretty much everything we see Gojo do, Yuda would be able to do now as well. Restoring his technique with reverse curse technique, opening his domain multiple times in one day, surviving Sukuna's domain while it's open, and probably a lot more. Increased efficiency would also allow him to go absolutely ballistic with his curse technique as well. Not only would he actually be able to use the limitless technique if he copied it, he could also use more costly techniques without having to worry about his cursed energy expenditure. This means he could just rattle off any maximum techniques he wants. If he copies curse manipulation, he can use Uzumaki. He could launch hollow purples with very little thought about it. Pretty much anything he can copy, he can use, and use without worry. He should also be able to store more curse techniques in his brain, thanks to being able to heal his brain constantly like Gojo did for infinity. On top of this, he would also be in a great position as a support sorcerer as well, as he is one of the few sorcerers that is able to output reverse curse technique. With the six eyes, he basically becomes the ultimate healer. Being able to copy Shoko's technique and never running out of reverse cursed energy even if reverse cursed technique is weaker when used on others. Then there's also Rika, but it's kind of hard to tell exactly how the six eyes would affect her. She's fueled by Yuta's cursed energy, but his total cursed energy isn't changing, just how much he uses for techniques is. Does this mean Yuta would have more cursed energy to dedicate to Rika? In theory, yeah, but that doesn't mean he would actually use more cursed energy on her, because he can just use that cursed energy on other cursed techniques. Plus, Rika is already extraordinarily powerful as is, so it's not like she really needs the extra cursed energy either. So which sorcerer besides Gojo makes the best use of the six eyes? Well, if we go by raw strength, then it is Sukuna, considering he is the strongest without them. But who has the most to gain from them? My first instinct may be Mai, considering she has such a low starting point. But to be honest, even with the six eyes, I don't think the construction technique is all that broken. Plus, Mai doesn't really have the motivation to become a strong sorcerer, so that will affect her as well. Personally, I think the most likely to gain the most from the six eyes is either Chozo or Yuta. In both their cases, the six eyes vastly increase the advantages their techniques give them, as we have already covered. And if I was to pick between these two, I'd have to say the answer is probably Yuta. Copy is just such an overpowered ability that pretty much every advantage the other sorcerers we talked about today would get can be gained by Yuta as well. The advantages of the Ten Shadows, the advantages of Boogie Woogie, the advantages of construction, it all belongs to him. Ironically, the only advantage that Yuta can't get is Chozo's infinite blood because he is not a death's painting. Really, the only thing that might hold Yuta back is the potential five minute timer. But I don't know if that even really matters considering in those five minutes, he'd probably be able to summon Maharaga, use hollow purple, open his domain, make a perfect spear, and more depending on what curse techniques he's copied. He would just be so unbelievably broken with the six eyes and I really can't see anyone else coming close. So thank you all for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you again in a little bit.